category. Pretty close to where we ended at we last time. Choice, did we? Oh, I gotta redo the dialogue, I guess, since I messed up. It was yeah, I'm gonna agree option, with you, homie. I hope you're right. I think this time I really was close to finding a way to cure him. Eh, probably it's not. Fine. Back when he was free. It was only because of my family's influence that he ended up here, rather than on death row. The world now. Every day I'm on it's death a world made row. Monsters. Nothing could have stopped him. No. I've answered my own question. We truly had no choice. Uh, we always have a choice. I'm sorry about Lorenzo. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hey, Before any time, go, fella. Yeah? I couldn't have done this without your help. I think oh. this is fair compensation. I won't be needing your my job, though. This. Saving your family's gotta be worth more than that. You know, I was so close to understanding the artifact. Now that I can study it directly, I may be able to do something useful with it. To come back and see me at Cabot House in a week or so. Come back and see me at Cabot House in a week or so. Okay. Yeah, I might do that. The lefty. Ha. Alright. Yeah, let's go ahead and get out of here. I almost wish there was a easier way to get out of this place, you know, like how Skyrim dungeons are where you can, you know, you can just go up, down, left, right, and you're out. You know, I don't know why these ones make you run back through how you originally came through. Feels kind of random to me, but beggars can't be choosers. I don't remember if Homeboy actually lives or not. Hopefully he made it out. Seems like an alright guy. You know, I've seen like TikTok videos of dudes talking about, you know, playing this game and how they're like level. Uh, heck, I don't know. I think I've seen one dude was level. 150 and I've always just kind of wondered how do you get that high of a level it gets impressive I just I don't know how you do it <clears throat> like I feel like I've I've played this a few times maybe I just don't understand how you actually level up in this game but you know I just kind of feel like it just you don't level up that fast I feel like you really just don't level up fast in this game Kind of like Skyrim, too. We we'll go do this one. Like Skyrim's the same way. Skyrim's a little easier to do, seeing you can uh, unlock, like, you know, your smithing and whatnot. You know, if you did that on repeat, you could definitely level up pretty fast. But I just don't. Never really understood how you do it on this game, because there's nothing in the game like that. It'd be a little. Honestly, I think it'd be a little better if they switched up the system to to be more like Skyrim's, but. Honestly, I think it's just Skyrim is a phenomenal game. Skyrim on top. Skyrim is probably by far going to be one of Bethesda's best games. They're, they're just never going to top it. At least for me. I never really got... I played... I did play Oblivion, but I just never... Never really got into oblivion. There you go. Kind of the same. I think I heard Morrowind. What the heck? Morrowind was really good, but I never actually got into Morrowind either. I don't think I'd get up there. I never. I don't know. Just kind of. Probably wasn't. Who oh, is shooting me? <gasps> what is your problem over here, fool? Settlement recruitment beacon. I bet it's Bunker Hill. Don't go hiding on me now. Oh, 
all sorts of stim packs on these gentlemen. I didn't mean to go inside of it. Nice. I didn't realize it was an actual explorable location. I thought it was just a door. Who? Me. End of the line. That's a high level enemy right there. Holy smokes. I don't know if I didn't heal or if that dude literally just smoked me that bad. That's it. Thought I might be able to open that door. Oh, this annoying guy first. This annoying guy. This shotgun sucks. I think I need to work on getting my weapons up. This thing sucks. Oh, trust me, there's plenty of jet in here, homie. I want to pick up some of this stuff, but I don't have the inventory room for it. <clears throat> oh, nice. You know, to be honest with you, I don't. I don't know oh, what I was expecting in there, but it's a little more than that. I at least figured there'd be a, something extra in there. Oh, that's right. I don't know if that man instant followed me or. What just happened there, but settlement or recruitment beacon lost. I don't know what one that would have been. Hey, look at my map. We're gonna go find a quest to do. I can't do the constitution because I have no idea how to get up to it. Let's go get this brewing machine. Yeah, we'll go do this one first, and then we'll think about getting him his machine. As a canister. I have heard, <clears throat> oh, Lord. Had to get a sip of water there. I've heard a lot of people say like this game really open together really isn't like as good as the first few. They made it like where power armor is too easy to get in it. And I'm kind of like, you know, I kind of agree. If power armor is supposed to be as like high tech and advanced as it is, I feel like it's it's a little easy to get, a little too easy to get. You know, but I'm also like I don't I'm not a power armor user. I I don't eat power armor. I guess it really just depends on your play style, but also just kind of at the same time, it's I do feel like power armor is a little easy to get. And I know a lot of people say that's like one of the, the big downfalls of the game is that power armor is just super easy to get. I don't personally think that makes sense, but you know, it is it is a very easy thing to get for how high tech and advanced it's supposed to be. Again, it's not really I guess the game's not supposed to be super hard. Know, it's not supposed to be super groundbreaking. He ain't gonna bother, but everyone in the building knows we're here now. Playing games with me, huh? Big mistake. Can't you go? Something's coming. Ready up. Fire in the hole! 
throw an awful lot of grenades. Who is Gaff? Gaff Punk right there. Won't recognize you when I'm done. This dude just hit the mad again, didn't he? Okay, this dude can't hit a shot. Flying. I kind of, I kind of like the this thing. It's kind of funny you watching them. Like you shotgun them just right, and then they just go flying backwards. Kind of funny looking. Honestly. That person took one shot. You're embarrassing. All right, I'm gonna save. All right, I was really hoping this was gonna be unlocked. I don't know. I don't. Like I said, I'm not a power armor user, so I don't. I don't think that, you know, person power armor is like super groundbreaking. I actually don't like the look of power armor. I feel like it takes up too much HUD on your screen. So I don't like wearing it. I feel like it's not like. I just feel like it's also not like kind of. God, I kind of, kind of hard to describe. I really, just takes too much storage space, or not storage space. Takes up too much of my screen. If it didn't take up so much of my screen, it probably wouldn't be too bad. I can be, I can keep my bobblehead. Oh, that's a tap house key. Darn, I thought that was something good. It just keeps my game how it looks right now. Probably wouldn't mind. But that's not how it works. That is a real person. That makes sense why I thought he looks so realistic. It doesn't really look like a mannequin like they normally do. Imagine living in one of these buildings and someone comes in and takes you out because you freaking they need a tap machine. Perfect. Total hack. It includes the spotlight hacking source code. Oh, that's cool. I don't know what that means. I think I've got the idea what it means, but I don't know, I'm kind of dumb. I don't know exactly what that means. I didn't even close what I meant to do. I could have just ran past these gentlemen and never had to worry about them. See what we got in here. Seeing if I couldn't find something a little interesting in that, but I didn't see anything too exciting.
Okay. So that's a zero. That's also a zero. Can't end in an S. Nice. Oh, nice. That was a little too easy, actually. Kind of once I figured out how you actually use the thing, it kind of not too bad. Auxiliary BIOS detected. Flashing operational subroutines. Micro brewers operational. Internal bottling mechanism operational. Output dispensary operational. Detecting brewing subroutine. Hollow tape detected for will it fail ale. Start up sequence complete. Dispensing sample for approval by technician. How would you describe the testing sample provided? Like piss water, you dumb. <laughs> I didn't mean to do I meant you your anything harder? Acknowledged starting internal recalibration of flavor sensors. Shall we commence delivery to the Hotel Rexford? Let me see here. What are you? I am a modified Robco Protectron designated drinking buddy. My internal micro brewers allows for the internal brewing, bottling, and dispensing of beer at an accelerated rate. I am also programmed to tell a wide variety of jokes for the customer's amusement. Shall we commence delivery to the Hotel Rexford. I'm Change keeping this boy. I've decided to keep you myself. Understood. Are you ready to set the parameter Ooh. at this time? What do you mean by home? The default location where I will begin normal operation Ooh. can be reassigned after normal operation has begun. Are you ready to set the parameter Ooh. at this time? <laughs> Home. I'm ready. Very good. Please select the default Ooh. location. <laughs> the default Home location. I want to send him to... Castle. Oh. Parameter accepted. Beginning <laughs> transit. Okay, perfect. Alright. Let's get out of here. Home. 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 Perfect. Coast Guard Pier. Not discover that in course now. I'll go clear out the pier. Why not? We haven't been that area. Hey, mind if we talk now? What's up, man? Of course. What's up? Look, I uh, needed to mention just you taking care of Bobby. I ain't proud of having to put you through that. That sort of dictatorial shit ain't usually my style. She tried to dupe us both. Hey, yeah, she got us. Dealing with her was the right move. True. But it doesn't change the fact that she's out of the picture because of us. Hell, that sort of bulls the whole reason I became mayor in the first place. Some ass named Vic 
Ran the town for I don't know how long before that. Guy was scum. Used us drifters like his own personal piggy bank. He had this goon squad he'd use to keep people in line. Every so often, he'd let them off the leash, go blow off some steam on the populace at large. Folks with homes could lock their doors, but as drifters, we got it bad. There was one night, some drifter said something to them. They cracked him open like a can of cram on the pavement. And we all just stood there, did nothing. You can't blame yourself. Sounds can, like you were but... outmatched. Probably would have killed you too. You're right. But it was still spineless. I felt like less than nothing. Afterwards, I got so high, I blacked out completely. When I finally came to, I was on the floor of the old state house, right in front of the clothes of John Hancock. John Hancock, first American hoodlum and defender of the people. I might have still been high, but those clothes spoke to me, told me what I needed to do. I smashed the case, put them on, started a new life as Hancock. After that, I went clean for a bit, got organized, convinced Cleo to loan me some hardware, got a crew of drifters together and headed out into the ruins, started training. Next time Vic's boys went on their tear, we'd be ready for them. Why not try and reason with Vic instead of creating a militia? Hey, if I thought for a second that would work, I would have tried. Or at least, thought about trying. So, the night of, we all got loaded. Let Vic's boys get good and hammered. I burst from the windows and rooftops where we'd been hiding. They never even saw it coming. We didn't have to fire a shot. We didn't have to. But we sure fucking did. It was a massacre. Once we'd mopped up, we strolled right into Vic's quarters in the state house, wrapped a rope around his neck, and threw him off the balcony. And there I am, gun in hand, draped in Hancock's duds, looking at all the people of Good Neighbor assembled below. I had to say something. That first time I said him, they didn't even feel like my words. Of the people, for the people, was my inaugural address. Became Mayor Hancock of Good Neighbor that day. And from then on, I vowed I'd never stand by and watch ever again. And you're never gonna have to. We'll take care of the Commonwealth together. Good. I just hope you get where I was coming from. I, ain't <laughs> I don't, but I listen anyways. Though I'm getting the distinct idea you got the same plan. Well, you probably heard enough of me running my mouth for one day. You wanna get moving? Eh, might as well. I don't remember what we were doing. Going the other way as it turns out. Alright, we are going to head... I need to go home and throw some stuff in a chest. I'm already here. I'm already messed up. What the fuck was that? Hey, watch your mouth. Clear out this beer real quick. Or whatever it was, I don't even remember. Something I gotta clear out. Hmm. I guess it's a park. Whoa! Bit of a random spot for uh bridge overall though. Take whatever you can. I'll keep watch. Trust me, I will. Well that means more than likely uh, that's what's gonna be here. That doesn't look like it though. Super means. I got something. <laughs> we ain't alone. Gotcha. Well, 
They know now. Turn fire, Hancock. Return fire. Run, Hancock, run! Yeah, someone tells me he didn't make it out of that one. Get that sniper off the roof, bro. Something's coming. Ready up. Well, that boy on the roof is insane. It's annoying. Trust me, I am not standing near that. I'm down. That dude on the roof is insane. He just got pooped on, thank God. Hey, sir. You don't stop it up there, I'm gonna send a fat man your way, old dude. I just send it right up there to him. Nice found an Eddie Winter holotape. Message to Clint Pazinski. Time to start thinking about a vacation. Might as well. The wrong way to turn it out. Don't worry. We don't have to take my gun. That's it. Sweet. That's it. Shotgun sucks. It dude's health is insane also, but the shotgun sucks. Double. You're really gonna make me walk up here to you, bro? Give me two seconds. I know we're gonna finish this. Can't get up to him. I'm kind of dumb. My boy's insane. Exciting around here. There's bound to be something sitting around here, right? Man, how long are they down when they get stem, or when they don't get stem? My boy was kind of down for a while. If that was the case. Sweet. Check that one. Magazine in there, so I gotta open that one. Lock up terminal, eh? Some of these will pop up like new locations and stuff. Sometimes I just like to click the room just to see.
perfect. Uh, G5% damage with scope Who's weapons. best friend tends to be a book. No one else usually talks to us. Never a problem I've had myself. <laughs> Childlike. Um. Uh, does not end in an E. Childlike. Can't be that one. I uh, don't think it's this one. Can't be that one. Could be establish. It's not establish. One dry left. Let's reset my dries here. If I can find anything. Okay, so if it's childlike, more than likely, footsteps is also one. Wow. It means it's protected then. <laughs> what? Where will you be when the Holocaust comes? Hopefully nowhere near there, I guess. Alright, let's try this again. Dethroned is a zero. Buildings is a two. Uh, so... More than likely, it will be... Buildings is a two. Got it. How to think about that one. Officials had two of the similar letters. Really, the mini nuke takes way. Black. Plasma line sensor. I'm about to do drugs, anyways, to travel back to sanctuary. I gotta drop weight. Psycho? No, it's buff out, okay. Or buff out. What? <laughs> I just became addicted to buff out. That's lit. Be generally curious, you know, how many death calls are they possibly taking out? You know, where they're just sitting around so common like that, you know? What what was the death call before it mutated? Alright, I gotta go hit the bathroom real quick, but I'm teleporting. <laughs> Thank you.
You came to visit. I... I almost thought you wouldn't. You know I was coming back to see hey, you, old boy. Now that you're back here in Sanctuary, how would you like a job? A job? A job? You see you walk away. Since we talked, I'm feeling swell. Look at the two of us here in Sanctuary. Quit walking away from me. Prepared for the future. <clears throat> they didn't tell me much, Vault Tech. Just to make sure everyone fills out their forms. I was supposed to win a pack of steak knives. Okay, so I can put that away. Put that away. There's a nuke mine? What? Oh, wow. We'll put that away. We're gonna put that, we're gonna put that bad boy in a second. Those are eight pounds. I think suck. Put those away. We'll put these away. Probably better than what I'm wearing, but. I'm a silly guy. I think the most of these have any weight. Oh, that one did. So I'm gonna weigh three pounds in there. Oh, quest item. That's a uh, cut a little weight. Oh, ammo. Pretty sure they made it where none of this has any weight. Back in my day, I used to weigh a ton, actually. What are y'all doing? Never actually understood why they had, you know, where they did weigh stuff. Okay, we weren't too far off, so we'll go, we'll go find some baseball cards. Because, you know, when, when you, uh, when the game first came out, the uh, ammo was super heavy nonetheless. Thinking the mini nuke was six pounds. The rockets were two pounds. You know, it doesn't sound super crazy. But when, you know, you're just picking them up and you're not thinking about it, six pounds adds up really fast when... You know, you only have 300 pounds of carry weight. Ah! I didn't even realize they had mines on the road. I'm curious. It should be this way, I think, for the Coast Guard Pier. Or not the Coast Guard Pier, the other place I want. For the baseball cards. Ads right here. Sometimes he's got stuff in him, sometimes they don't. Oh yeah, I need to I need to redo my inventory real quick. Put that revolver. Uh, we'll favorite it. We'll put it there. Looks pretty good. Okay. I do actually kind of want to check this bad boy out. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna guess this place is full of ghouls. I think 
it looked like this before it got bombed, homeboy. Something's gotta be here defending this. Kinda just makes me wonder, you know, how, how would this save go untouched for 200 years? Unless they can redo the locks on them. I, mean, I guess you can't do it with a computer. It kind of makes me wonder, you know, how, how did this thing not get touched in 200 years? It's one. That's even worse than ghouls. Stay down there. Did I hear you? Come on. Let's try. What about escaping his fate? Probably don't want to walk there, otherwise he's gonna get up here. I did see a legendary though, so we're gonna have to see how that legendary. Making my legendary items up. I don't know who that's supposed to be. What it's supposed to be. He's over here. Explosive hunting right away. Ball explodes on impact during 15 points of area damage. Sleep. Sounds fun to me. Sure, what I was doing in here, but really hope this is water. <laughs> what? What else would it be, homeboy? Okay, what else we got in the area? You know we're gonna keep running, we're gonna go this way until we got up there. This is such an interesting spot to um, to build. Am I wearing power armor? I, I guess it'd be good against some things, but other things it's like, you know, why? Stopped here for no reason, or got 
Kind of looks like he doesn't. Uh, I know someone's being be sitting over here waiting on me. I already know it's gonna be in this just by the outside of it. Gonna be mole miners. <laughs> I got a better do. Let's check it out. I don't even know. Yeah. I don't actually think they have. Sure the vaults were built to keep riff raff like us out. I don't actually know if they have mole miners in this one. They have them in seventy six, but I don't think they have them in in this. I don't think it ever quite. Hold it right there. Vault eighty one security. I got it in Vault 111. Vault 111? What? <laughs> Haven't heard of that one yet. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? I'm just a traveler. I thought I'd take a look around. Is that so? And you expect me to believe that? Oh, Overseer. Who is it, Edwards? Ma'am, some new Commonwealth traveler. Not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Let me speak to them. What? <laughs> Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. No worries. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. So the answer. Depends. I need more details. Fair enough. Okay. Three to be exact. I already have it on me. You get the fusion cores. We grant the access. I already have the fusion cores you need. Really? Well then, I suppose I should say welcome. I'll be down to meet you at the entrance. Huh. Okay. Just doesn't ask any questions, she just says, wow, this dude just randomly has three fusion cores on him? Say less. Talk to Overseer Namara? Well, hello, fellas. On, Quinn. My guys have been working doubles for weeks now. Oh, this place is cool. Everyone's really good. working hard right now, Cal. You think I don't know that? Just do the best with what you can. Yeah? That's all I'm asking. Fine, I'll see what I can do. But you and I both know we can't keep going on like this. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. Top Here, lady. we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient. But there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. I'm impressed you maintained a successful vault for so long. Thanks. I owe it to the overseers before me, but some here would disagree. A few believe opening the doors to the Commonwealth was a mistake. You should be wary. 
the Commonwealth is a dangerous place. Exactly why we rely on a select few traders for our needs. That's why I like to use a give and take system. If outsiders are willing to help us, we're willing to help them. Speaking of, if you're ready, I can take those fusion cores from you. Of course. Here they are. Thank you. Dr. Penske will greatly appreciate these. 100 now, cabs. I have work to do. Ma'am, what about his, uh, friend here? I'll allow it. Security is already extra mindful as it is. If he's lived this long in the Commonwealth, I'm sure he's chosen his friends wisely. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. Perfect. Don't make me regret letting you in here. Hey. Now that you made it in, we'll be keeping an eye on you. So do us all a favor and behave yourself. Okay. Sure, bud. Undamaged camera. Clean coffee cup. Another outsider. What they let you in for. Here to Trade. do a little trading. We'll make it quick. We don't need your kind lingering around here. I'm a fellow vault dweller. I don't care where you're from. It's not <laughs> here. Oh, my fault. My fault. Reserve cigarette pack. How's that, Neil? Hey. So, we got a new visitor today. Don't say anything. But man, I'd love to be out there. It's pretty dangerous. You wouldn't last a day. Yeah, that's the fear. At least with the way the Overseer has us working, 81 will still be around for a while. Hard work, work pays off. Well. Well, man. And you guys are maintaining the vault, right? Trying to, at least. They say it's all the moving parts that have us working around the clock these days. Structurally, I guess 81 is still pretty sound. Vault Tech sure knew what they were doing when they set these places up. Well, I don't want to keep you. And I gotta get back to work. Maybe I'll see you around. Yeah, I think about it. She doesn't Katie want to talk Finn to is you. the teacher here in 81. She'd stop by her class. She's big on learning from outsiders. Okay, I'll check it out. No signs of radio. Hey there. It must be rough living out there. Ah. Yeah. Hey, Sorry about the maintenance. It never ends these days. Ashes, Kitty cat. Oh. Ash. Damn it. Aaron's not going to like this. Hey there. We got a barber here if you need it. I'm not saying you do. Alright. Don't go feeling all special because the overseer let you in here. You weren't the first, and certainly won't be the last. <laughs> Alright. What I wouldn't give for some real time off. Can I go in here? Nice, there's an elevator in this place? I couldn't go in the other door, so. Go ahead and do here. If I can hit that button. <laughs> a little dark in here. Whoa! We're very far underground. Hey, mister, are you really from the Commonwealth? Yes, I am. I knew it. Hey, I can show you around the vault if you want. Just five caps. Sure, but I'm not paying you. Okay, okay. How do you know? Oh, I guess. <laughs> what? Honestly, figured you'd be like the other guy. I'm not really do it. Guy could bunker hill, the little girl. This is the depot. The Combs family run it. Aaron and I are best friends. Her mom and dad fight a lot, so I don't like to go in there when they're around. But if you need something, they're the ones that have it. What do they fight about? I shouldn't tell you this, but everyone says Mr. Combs is sleeping with Tina. Mrs. Combs doesn't know, but he's always leaving her to do all the work while he hangs out with Tina. Next stop, the Overseer. I bet you killed a lot of strange things. Ooh, and raiders. I bet you fought raiders too. Eh, does he ask? <laughs> Man, you're gonna give me all the good stuff. The overseer. 
Pigman's office is up there. They're busy up there, and they do not like to be bothered. She makes rules, but she's nice. I like her. Does she take care of people that break the rules? Security mostly takes care of the people who break the rules, but she's in charge of all of the security officers. It doesn't happen very often. Next stop, the diner. Now we gotta go downstairs. That's where the diner is. Everybody eats there. Sometimes it gets real crowded. The Somersets are nice though. You'll like them. Okay. Let's check it out. The Somersets. Wonder where they're. They have to have. Yeah. Fresh. Fresh, fresh, fresh. They have to have something. Hello, Austin. I see you're right here. Some sort of. Around. Yes, ma'am. This is the sunshine Agriculture. Diner. Grant says that they'll take all of our hard work and turn it into swill. Mr. and Mrs. Somerset run the diner. They're pretty nice. Mrs. Somerset's pies are the best. How's their food? Other than the pies. I like it. Mrs. Somerset always sneaks me seconds. I'll save you a slice of pie, Austin. Next stop, Horatio. I told you they were nice. Do you like your hair? I like mine. I hate combing it, though. Grand makes me comb it. Same. Mannequins. Austin, that hair of yours is a mole rat's nest. <laughs> this is where Horatio fixes up people's hair. Darren's mom comes here all the time. Grand hardly comes here at all. She makes me cut my hair, though. It's not fair. I've seen enough, Austin. Ah, uh, you were about to get to the good part, too. Well, ain't this a... Yes. Fair tree. What's the word? Hey, Horatio. Your pit boy ever act up on you? Mine's been glitchy lately. <clears throat> you got guts wearing that pit boy in the Commonwealth. I can't believe someone hasn't tried to steal it yet. Thanks, oh, they they have, lady. I didn't think I'd ever make it in. You're whipping up a new batch of pies today. 